Hey guys, and welcome back to the Sanus Bricks. My name is Jevin. Now, with this current quarantine going on, a fun way to spend all this extra free time that we have is watching movies. So there are a lot of really great movies that you can watch out there, so for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a series based on iconic movie scenes. So for our first iconic scene today, we're going to be building a Lego trench run scene from Star Wars A New Hope. As you guys said there, that was the scene from the actual movie, and now let's take a look at our Lego version of the scene. So here you can see we have our Lego trench run scene. There are three different parts of this. We have Luke's X-Wing, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, and the Death Star, which is the base right here. So let's take a closer look at this scene. So here you can see we have our Lego trench run scene. So first let's start off looking at the X-Wing. First off, you notice that this is connected to the base using this pole here. So if I just take this off of the pole, off of the Death Star, right here, we have our little X-Wing fighter. This build is very, very basic. Pretty much you just have some tiles up on the top, you have the smooth, clean look. Here you can see we have the cockpit using a cheese wedge piece, and here we have our little R2-D2 in the back, which is just made up of a blue stud. So for these wings here, you can see I've used hinge pieces to clip it on to the main body, and then these are just made up of lightsaber hilts and poles. Then as we go to the back here, you can see we have the thrusters. These are just made up of some silver cone pieces and some translucent pink studs. And that is our X-Wing. So now let's move on to Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. If I take it off of the base here, you can see it. Here we have the fighter. Now this one is much more complicated than the X-Wing, so let's take this step by step. For the wings here, these are actually pretty simple. Here we just have some tiles on some of these inverted sloped bricks, and then here I just have a stud there to connect to the actual body of the fighter. Then for our actual fighter here, if I take this other wing off, here we have the main portion. So starting at the front, here you can see I have a translucent dome. That is actually attached using some Technic pieces to hold it onto the front of the fighter. And then as we look more into the interior of this, you can see this front part here I actually have flipped upside down so that the studs are facing down. Now if I take this pole off, you can see where it connects. I just have this 2x2 two two with the stud in the middle. That's what the pole goes into. And then if I actually take some of these pieces off from the front, you can see here we have some snot bricks that hold this entire fighter together. And as we've seen before, snot stands for studs not on top. Now these snot bricks hold on the front parts that you saw were here. It also holds on these slope pieces, and it holds on this back section here. For this back section here, you can see I just have some gray bar pieces and then also some smooth tiles around the back to give it the clean rounded shape. So now let's move on to this Death Star section. So this is the base for our fighters and this is actually a very very basic build. So pretty much what I have here is just an assortment of gray bricks that are just arranged in kind of a semi chaotic order. I've used everything from tiles to cheese whiz pieces to grates to poles really any gray bricks that you guys have would work really well for this. Then you can see here I just have some studs up and this is what allows our fighters to attach to the base just like so. And that is our Lego trench run scene. Alright guys, and so that is our Lego trench run scene from Star Wars A New Hope. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe right down there. See you guys next time.